What up, sports fan? This is DJ Big Boss on the Who Bangin' Sports Talk Who Show. Bangin'? I'm just out here just to give you guys a good insight on the Mountain West. I'm going to take a quick dive into the Mountain West, just give a couple informations and opinions of my own. Let's take a look out here at the Mountain Division. First off, leader of the pack, Boise State. Boise State quarterback had 305 yards, 4 TDs. Wide receiver Sean Moster had 67 yards, 2 TDs. And quarterback Tyler Hudlin got to sit on the turnover throne. That's one of those new things like Miami with the turnover chain, but they got to throw. Okay, turnover throne. Got to sit on that twice in the game. Uh, this week, Mac up, they paid UConn. UConn's uh, not too tough of an opponent, but they're favored by 33 and a half. This is the second meeting between the two teams. UConn is no test on the Boise, hey, Boise State bluegrass. Next, I'm going to go over to Utah State. Utah State fought a tough fight against Michigan, and I respect them for that. Even though they lost, they fought a tough fight. This is a really good team. This week, they play New Mexico State. They're minus 24, and I expect them to score, score, score. Next in the Mountain West, we have Wyoming. Now, Wyoming last week had a 19-41 loss to Washington State. Although, Wyoming did lead at the half 16-13, Washington State just proved to be too much in the air and on the ground to this Wyoming team who has a pretty solid defense, just not the caliber of Washington State. Next up, we have Air Force. Air Force last week had a 38-0 home win against some team called Stony Brook. But it was a pretty good game. They started off for a little while. There was a rain delay. They came back. They continued to do what they was do. They beat them. This week they have FAU. They're plus 10 points. I really like Air Force in this one. They looked really strong last week. The running game that they used was working. Mm, we'll see what happens. Next up, Colorado State. This team has been a disaster. They can't tell a foot from their head. This week, they play Arkansas. They're plus 13. I don't think this Mountain West matchup is going to be much. Looks like a debacle in the making. After that, we move on over to New Mexico. New Mexico, against the spread, mm, I don't know. Last week, they were 6-2-30 and 30 against a team called Incarnate Word. I have no idea where this team is. It may just be the Gridart game. But this week they faced Wisconsin, and I'm so happy. They deserve the karma that they put out. I don't think that these teams should be playing teams that they have no business playing. They should really reach out and play teams worth playing. Okay, so I hope Wisconsin pick, kick their head through their face. Get them. So let's move on to the West. First off, we got Fresno State. Last week they were a 79-13 over Idaho. I wasn't sure if this score was right when I first looked at it, but this show was full of numbers. They had five interceptions, two blocked field goals, uh, seven passing TDs. They had 79 points in the game against a very bad Idaho team. This week they see Minnesota. I'm off this game. First week jitters. Luckiness, whatever. This Minnesota team played a pretty good game last week. I'm just going to sit back and watch the game. Next up, we got San Diego State. Tough loss for them last week against Stanford. They came out really doing what they are good at, which is the offensive line and the running. The running back over there is really tough. The offensive line is really tough. And this week, they go out and they face Sacramento State. We probably won't get a line. They deserve, after playing a tough week last week against Stafford, they deserve to actually whoop on somebody. So, it is what it is. Next, we have UNLV. UNLV lost to USC last week, 21-43. to They actually was really on them in the first half if you watched the game. But the Coliseum just kind of kicked in, the fans kicked in, and they just drowned out with the crowd. Next, we have Nevada. Last week, they had a 72-19 home victory over Portland State. Now, Portland State plays Oregon this week. 
I'm not sure about this team if it's a really caliber team that you should really should be playing. But they did a good job on beating them. This week they see Vanderbilt out the SEC. Vanderbilt should come put the heat on them. They weigh more. They move better. This is going to be something they really haven't seen yet. I definitely take Vandy in the first half. Next, we have San Jose State. San Jose State last year, they were, I mean last week they were upset by UC Davis. They shouldn't have been playing UC Davis in the first place. It ain't no fun when the rabbit got the gun, right? Shout out to UC Davis for putting a foot in San Jose State face. This week they play Washington State, and guess what? They're going to get another foot up in their face for even attempting that kind of crap. Next, we have Hawaii. Hawaii's been looking really good on offense. And guess what? Hawaii's going to be at home this week versus Rice. Rice did a good job last week in the first half, but Rice... Uh, they got a pretty rough schedule. They're not going to do too much this year. You know, you got the Hawaii home game, time difference, and all that kind of stuff, and the high power offense coming at you. Look at Hawaii to score like they do at home. And, you know, this is a good spot for Hawaii. You know, Rice even had to buckle up to beat Prairie View. So Hawaii should have their way with this Rice team. I like Hawaii all the way. So. That's my breakdown of week two of the Mountain and the Mountain West over in the Mountain West. Appreciate you guys for tuning in. If you can take any information, turn it, flip it, turn it into a win. Fade me, trail me, do what you got to do. Shout out to the Money Gang. Shout out to the Low Bag Show. Shout out to the SBR Network and the SBR Picks. Appreciate y'all love and support. This is DJ Big Boss, and I'm out.